All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Mary Beth Woodward, and I am um, here with Courtney Story. Courtney works for Insight Global, and we are going to be talking to her today all about their opportunities. So thanks for tuning in. And Courtney, why don't you just kick us off by introducing yourself? Tell us a little bit about yourself and about Insight Global. Absolutely. So first of all, thank you so much for having me on. Um, I'm excited to share a little bit more about our company and kind of what we're looking for. Um, as you said, my name is Courtney. I am a talent acquisition manager out of our Nashville, Tennessee location. And I have been with Insight Global going on six years now, about five and a half years. I was actually a UT grad myself. So go balls. Go um, balls. Yeah, it's kind of come full circle, which is so much fun. Um, <laughs> I found Insight Global, or they found me, I guess, at a, a UT career fair um, about six plus years ago. And then I went through the process and I've been with the company ever since. So I have a special place in my heart for hiring a UT <laughs> grad. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to be here. So thanks for having me. That's that's a great story. I love to hear it. So you found your current job at a at a career fair. That's awesome. Yeah, I did. So that's why I like I very much believe in them. Like I know yes. sometimes they're chaotic or you know, people are like, I don't know if it's worth my time. But if you, you know, if you put it put it out there, you never know who you're gonna meet or if it could line you up with your long-term future career. So it did for me. Yeah, absolutely. So tell us a little bit about Insight Global. What, what do you all do? Where are you located? You mentioned you're in Nashville. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, so we are a, a Fortune 1000 essentially staffing firm. We have um, 58 office locations nationwide, multi-billion dollar company. And essentially what it means to be a staffing firm is we're kind of the liaison between our consultants and our clients. So we work with a ton of Fortune 500, Fortune 1000 companies and firms out there. And again, we're basically helping identify strong consultants and candidates for their specific hiring needs. So it's a lot of fun. Again, we're growing like crazy. We were founded in 2001. So we're not even a 20-year-old company, which to me kind of puts us in that sweet spot. Like we're not a brand new startup where, you know, you you don't really have that job security, you know, maybe you don't have a ton of opportunities for advancement, but then on the flip side, we're not, you know, a hundred, 200 plus year old company that's super stuck in their ways, you know, not very innovative. Um, so I think we're just kind of in that perfect, you know, middle ground. Um, again, 58 offices currently were based and headquartered out of Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, great. And then, yeah, and then pretty much any large city you could think of, we probably have an office in. Like I mentioned, I'm in Nashville. We have Dallas, Denver, LA, New York, like any large city. Um, we probably have an office or will soon have an office. Um, we open about three to five new locations a year, which is pretty exciting. So. Fun fact, even in the middle of a global pandemic, we still <laughs> opened four office locations this summer. Wow, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> so we're growing, um, I feel like at a really good rate and I can talk about it later too, but it's all organic growth. So literally every promotion comes from within. We never pull people from the outside and place them straight into a, a high level you know, management role, which I think is pretty special. Yeah, no, that's awesome. That's great. Yeah. Well, Courtney, tell me a little bit about the opportunities, whether it be jobs or internships. What kinds of things do you recruit for? Yeah, so we have both. We do have our summer internship program, um, which is an eight-week paid program starting the first week of June and going to the end of July. And we can hire up to two interns per office location. So looking to bring on, you know, around 100 or so for next summer, 2021. Um, and then of course we have our full-time opportunities in each office location. And so 
essentially what we hire for are people that we can train and see being successful within our account management position. And so as an account manager within Insight Global, you're basically the voice and face of the company. So you're taking clients out on lunches, you're doing coffees, meetings, events. The core point of your job is to build rapport and continue kind of networking, prospecting, you know, keeping these relationships really steady with our high level clients. And so it's a very social role, I will say. Um, <laughs> it's very fast paced. And I'm the first to admit, I know that that's not for everybody, right? Some people want you know, their, their desk job, run of the mill, you know, eight to five, but this is definitely, I mean, you're always on the go. You're out of the office about three fourths of your week, typically um, doing those face-to-face -face interactions with clients, obviously a little bit different with COVID right now, but we're making, <laughs> making do, um, but that's the role that we hire for. And then we have a training program in place within our entry-level recruiting role where you're kind of getting to shadow a senior mentor, you're going out on the road with them, you're learning the behind the scenes piece of recruiting. Um, we send you, we fly you out to corporate headquarters for training for a few business days. Like that's kind of just our way of really getting you acclimated to the company, kind of like walk before you run type of mentality. So um, yeah, all in all, we hire with the intention of moving you right into account management. Got it. Got it. And so that was a good description. It's a very, uh, very social job. Um, yeah. Always going to be talking and building relationships with people, right? <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. It's like, it's high energy, you know, uh -huh. it, it is fast paced, but I love that about it. It's definitely the type of career where what you put in is what you get out. And for people that are motivated by that, um, I mean, it's incredible because again, you, you see the fruit of your work pretty, pretty quickly. Um, and these relationships are also something that you're just continuing to build and build and build. It's not like a one and done sell, you know, or a one-time close. These are partners that you might be working with for, I mean, years and years to come, which is a lot of fun. Sure. That sounds great. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about, um, what might make a, a candidate a good fit? Are there any kinds of experiences that you typically look for? Um, anything on a student's resume that might make them stand out? Absolutely. So one good thing to note is we are not major specific. So it's not like we only hire you know, marketing or only hire business students. We really hire more so based on your character, your work ethic, obviously how you present yourself within an interview setting. Um, we do require a bachelor's degree to be complete prior to starting, um, but we are very proactive in our interview process. So for example, we're already starting to, to review resumes and start interviewing for next summer, 2021. Okay. Um, so to kind of back up in what we look for in a resume, we love seeing leadership. We love seeing involvement on campus, whether that be in Greek life or student government or different clubs, organizations, I mean, anything across the board. We love seeing community service and philanthropy kind of work. We love internships, whether it be in a field similar to this or not. Um, we just love people that really have shown that time management and have really put in a lot, um, a lot of different kind of plugs, I guess, in their three, four years in college. So. Yeah. Again, we're not major specific. We have people with an array of majors. Mm -hmm. um, we definitely have a lot of people with a business background mm -hmm. or maybe communications, ad PR, um, psychology, stuff like that. But again, I don't want a specific major to deter anyone from being interested because it really is more based on your personality, your work ethic, um, and kind of you know what type of career you're looking for. Sure, sure. So mo more about the skill set. Mm -hmm. um, and it sounds like there's a lot of different leadership type activities that could make someone a good candidate. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, really anything that they were a part of, I feel like is is worth bringing up and talking about. We just like people that, um, again, have kind of been involved and have a variety of skill sets and interests. And you don't have to have, you know, been a leader or a president of one of these organizations, I think even giving time and being a part of something, right, or a part of the team or a club um, is also noteworthy. So 
yeah, really just as far as resumes go, we just like seeing people that have really kind of dedicated their time in a few different areas, even if that's just working throughout college. That's huge. Yeah. You know, yeah. that shows a ton of time management to be able to balance your time with a job, a part-time job and also completing your education. So yeah. we're not picky on, you know, where that time was allocated to. It's really just more about, you know, the fact that you do have those time management skills and you've kind of done a, a variety of things. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about um, the company culture. Why do you like working for Insight Global? What do you like telling people about the company? Yeah, I love this question, first of all. <laughs> um, I seriously could go on and on about our company culture. Um, I, I would put us up against any other company. That's how confident I am. We've won a lot of awards for our culture, first and foremost. And I think that stems from our incredible CEO, Bert Bean, shout out. He's like a top five <laughs> CEO in the, in the country right now. Um, and, and just our leadership within the offices. And again, falls on our hiring processes and what that looks like. Um, but our culture is really made up of a, a diverse group of, of people and candidates, again, nationwide, that essentially kind of bring those core values. And so that's dedication, hard work, people that are self-motivated, people that, you know, want to be successful and at the, at the core of who they are, they're going to kind of do that whatever it takes mentality um, to see themselves really grow in a career. But then in the same breath, we also make sure that we're hiring people that are optimistic, they're encouraging, they're uplifting to their teammates and coworkers. This is not like a dog eat dog type of, of company. It's more of like that teamwork mentality. There's definitely individual, um, I, I guess an individual like task and, and career um, piece to it, but it, it's definitely rooted in more of that team kind of atmosphere. So um, yeah, long story short, I think <laughs> our culture is incredible. We're all pretty like outgoing <laughs> if I'm like a representative of that. Um, we do a lot of stuff outside of the office. I mean, later this afternoon, I'm going to a, a cornhole tournament with the Nashville office, <laughs> um, socially distanced, but yes. <laughs> we, we just do a lot of things together, like whether it's a Preds game or, you know, grabbing dinner after, after work, like it's a really great environment to not only have a ton in common, you know, in the workspace, but also just people who you can actually be friends with outside of the office. And the cool thing too is our culture stretches, I mean, from coast to coast. You could walk into an office that you've never met a soul in and you would feel welcome. You would feel like you were walking into your very own office. Um, so I just think we have a really, we do a really good job at like keeping that culture, um, you know, kind of kind of close knit and tight. Um, again, whether you're in California or in Florida or, or Nashville. So yeah, I don't know. that's kind of a long-winded answer to your question. <laughs> like I said, I could go on and on about it, but I definitely suggest, you know, anybody watching this or interested to kind of look up some more information or pop on our social media. And I feel like it'll kind of speak for itself. Yeah, no, that's a great, that's a great tip. You mentioned earlier um, that you really promote from within. Yeah. So it, I guess is part of the, the culture that everyone or most people start in the same position and then you look from that to promote. Right. Yeah. So we basically hire everyone on in kind of that entry level training, recruiting, developmental based position. Okay. That's usually a 10 month process from your start date to your promotion date. Mm -hmm. And what I love about our entry level role is that is literally just your starting point. Like everybody gets promoted. It's not a filter effect. It's not like, okay, we're going to hire 10 people for two promotions. Like if you get the offer and you get the job, you will get promoted, you know, yeah. within that year typically. Um, and then from there, you just continue to build out your career kind of based on your interest and, you know, where you see that you're going to be the best value add. So like I started entry level six, you know, years ago or so, our CEO started as a recruiter. <laughs> like 18 years ago and worked his way all the way up to being, you know, a, an incredible CEO of a multi-billion dollar company. So I think it just gives you like that level of respect for your leadership to know that everybody's kind of been where you've been. 
Yeah. Um, it's really, it's really cool. I love yeah. that we've held true to that and we don't hire, you know, from the outside into those management positions. Sure. No, that, that makes sense. I like that. Yeah. So Courtney, what advice do you have for students who are job and internship searching during the pandemic? Is there any advice you have for, for us? Yes. Um, first of all, I would say, I would just say like, stay optimistic during this time. I know that it's different for sure, but I mean, if we're any, um, any help or, or light to you, like we are still actively interviewing and actively mm -hmm. hiring. Um, we're still growing as a company. And I think a lot of companies out there are in the same boat, like we can't just cease hiring. Um, you know, we might have taken a, a small setback or a little break, you know, right in the middle of all of this, this summer, but a lot of companies are really starting to move again. Um, so there's a lot of opportunity out there. So just keep your, your head, your eyes on the prize, I guess, um, your head on the swivel and you'll find, you'll find what you're looking for. Um, and then I would also just suggest because a lot of these interviews are virtual and kind of through a Zoom type of platform, um, just to really like bring your all to these interviews. A lot of times it's a little bit harder to get that, you know, the, the warm and fuzzies from an interview um, sure. when, it, when you're not in person. So I would say kind of take it to that next level, bring the energy, like be excited to be there, prepare as much as possible, and just really try to, to get the point across, you know, virtually on how excited you are for the opportunity. And as an employer, in my eyes, if somebody can crush an interview virtually, they're gonna blow it out of the water, you know, when we meet them in person, seriously. We keep saying that the hiring class of 2021 is gonna be the most resilient, the most adaptable group that we've probably ever seen. So like definitely just keep getting after it. Um, don't settle, you know, there's still plenty of companies out there that are, are hiring and bringing on people, um, you know, onto their teams for next year. So yeah. that would just be some of a couple of pieces of it. Yeah, that's, a, I mean, that's definitely a good tip because interviewing virtually could be a little bit different than interviewing in person. And so definitely yeah. practicing that. Um, students can practice it at the Center for Career Development and Academic Exploration with us. So little plug there. Yes, I suggest that 100%, yeah. you know, practice with your career center when they're offering these incredible, you know, incredible services. They're there to help. Um, if you have like a talent acquisition manager like myself that's guiding you through the process, like use us, ask us, you know, what, how can I prepare? What, what do these hiring managers look for? Um, you know, what, how can I stand out as a candidate? Like use your resources that are, are there um, to your advantage. And I think it'll do, it'll do nothing but help, you know, set you apart in a positive way in these, these virtual interviews. Yeah, definitely. Courtney, as a former, as a UT grad, a UT uh, Knoxville alum, um, and a recruiter, why do you like hiring UT Vols at Insight Global? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm definitely biased to Vols <laughs> because I was one. Um, I just think, I mean, it's some of the best students out there, right? People that, again, a lot of, of students I talk to on a day-to-day -day basis are, are so involved and so motivated and I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm just biased in general. Um, not to mention, I, so I have several like schools kind of in the Southeast region. And so it's one of those things where I kind of like get excited when I, you know, pass on a, a future or a vol to a hiring manager for an interview and they love them. Like when they get excited and they're like, Courtney, that was an incredible candidate, like great find. Um, that gets me pumped. And so I get a little bit competitive um, in really wanting UT to be a top top five, top 10 hiring school for Insight Global. Um, we've been it in the past and I just feel like I can get it back to, to that level. There's some incredible talent at UT. Um, it's just, you know, finding that right match. So yeah. I'm excited to get more and more involved, you know, with things like this and with virtual career fairs and speaking in classes and whole nine yards and, and hopefully really identifying some awesome candidates for Insight Global for 2021. 
That's great. Courtney, what are any kind of last thoughts you might have for students? Um, maybe how, how do you apply for these opportunities? Where to look for Insight Global Opportunities? Uh, anything that you want to tell us to kind of wrap up? Yes, I guess that's an important thing to throw in there, <laughs> how you can apply. Yeah. Um, so we do have two active postings on Handshake. If, right. You know, students are active on there. We have the summer internship, and then we also have um, the full-time opportunity, which I think is just listed as entry-level account management slash recruiting um, via Handshake. So okay. definitely apply there. Um, and you can also reach out to me directly. I'm sure I can pass along um, my email and contact to you as well, but it's just Courtney.story at insightglobal.com. Um, I'm happy for students to reach out to me, you know, directly as well with their resume and year of graduation and kind of what they're interested in and, and can kind of set up a phone interview from there. So yeah, that's how you apply. I guess as far as like last thoughts, I would just say, like if this, if anything I said today, like piqued your interest a little bit, um, seriously, check out our website, check out our LinkedIn, our Facebook. We have a lot of great stuff on there. Um, we just have a lot of really good, good stuff going on. This is an awesome time to get in with the company. Um, it's definitely selective. You know, we can't just hire anyone and everyone, but we're the right fit and the, again the right person the right background i think it could be again a great career opportunity i know that it was for me so if you're interested reach out one way or another um and i would love to hire more balls yes that's awesome so handshake look on handshake for the job and internship postings mm -hmm. um yes good to look there and then check out insight globals um, LinkedIn, social media, website, um, to do maybe a little bit more research about the company. And Courtney, thank you so much for being here and taking your time to share a little bit more about Insight Global's opportunities. Of course. Thank you again for allowing me to be here and for anybody that's listening to this, whether it's live or after the fact. Yeah. Um, thanks for your time as well. If you guys have any other questions or again, just want to hear more um, and take a little bit deeper dive, feel free to reach out to me. I'm the main point of contact for any UT students, um, no matter which office you're open to and in, in any of our 58 locations. I'm kind of like the liaison and point of contact to get you get you to the right place. So feel free to reach out and I'm excited to hear from some of you guys. Thanks, Courtney. Bye. Bye, see ya.